In this video, we will be discussing two different types of configurations in SOLIDWORKS. First, manual configurations. This will be done using a connects piece. Here's a standard connects piece with eight openings. This is the same geometry as other connects pieces, but with slightly more than necessary. Here we have added cuts and extrudes to make different geometries out of the same original geometry to create different parts. Here, for example, let's unsuppress all of the yellow cuts, extrudes, and fillets. We can see we have a completely new piece. Suppressing these again, and we're back to the original piece. Now we will show a way to configure these so we can create many different pieces in the same file using these suppresses. Here we have a list of all of the configurations by just simply clicking them and saying configure features. Now we will add which configurations we like white, yellow, green, so on and so forth. And by doing this, we can then see which features we would like to suppress and which features we would like to show, and we can create many different parts. So we have a white, yellow, green, red, orange, light gray, and then we also have a blue and a purple. Now we'll go through and suppress and unsuppress these. Unsuppress the yellow cuts and extrudes, then the greens, now I'll unsuppress the reds. If you miss one and something depends on it, it will automatically unsuppress it. Now we'll unsuppress the oranges, and the gray piece actually is the same geometry as the orange but with one more cut, so unsuppress all the oranges and unsuppress the gray. This is another way that this is more useful because you don't have to create the same geometry multiple times because some of the pieces are very similar with just one more cut needed. For example, the blue and the purple are the same with just the blue having a few less cuts. Now you'll name the table configs. You have to save and name the table to be able to access it again in the form of manual configurations. We'll wait for this to generate each piece and click apply and click OK. And now we will see that a table has been created as long as well as all these different configurations. So here's the yellow. If we want to change the color, we can also do this manually by clicking properties of the display state. Make sure to link the display state to the configuration. Then go into appearances, click the color you wish to add, click check. There's the yellow piece. Here's what the green piece would be, just slightly different than the yellow. One more cut. Here's the red at a 45 degree angle with three openings. Add the change the red color. Here's the orange, two orange openings. Here's the gray. As you can see, just one more cut on the gray to change it from orange to gray. Here's the light gray, two openings. Let's make this gray a little darker so we can change the light gray to a lighter color. There we go. And then here's the blue that can interlock with another blue piece. And here is the purple, which is similar to the blue, so we use the same blue configurations and added a few more. And that has how you manually configure pieces in SOLIDWORKS. Now let's discuss a design table by creating this with rods and connects. Here we have the original sketch of a rod in one profile. Here we can see the dimensions are all constrained and mirrored over to create the rod. Here is the main dimension we'll be configuring. Turn on show dimension names, change the dimension name to length, so we can easily find this and reference this later. Now we can exit this sketch, and we can revolve this feature around the center baseline center base access. Now we have to add the different divots in the parts that can interconnect with connects in another way. So we'll create this line, make it four millimeters tall, make it construction line. Now we will be creating the profile of the cut. There we go. And now let's dimension this line to make it all constrained. Actually, we don't want this dimension. We want to have this dimension 1, 
and we would like the next dimension to also be one and we want this the whole radius or the whole angle to be 115 but this is half of it so let's divide that by two there we go and now let's take this profile and mirror it over the axis to create a entire cut mirror about the center axis right here click check now we'll ex cut extrude this feature in both ways to create the little divot in the piece cut extrude let's offset this from surface the surface being the end in 10 millimeters that's good and then we'll do it in the same sense in direction 2 offset from the other surface 10 millimeters now click check and we have the first divot in the connects piece let's fillet this real quick make it all look nice click all the faces here there we go and we'll make this a 0.25 millimeter fillet and then click check and we would like this in four different instances around the entire body click both the cut extrude and the fillet four instances click the direction to be the face revolve and there we go there's our first rod but we don't want to go through this process all over again with each new piece and the manual configurations while useful took a little bit of time and they weren't easily changed so let's create a design table first let me show you how to find the appearances the color you want for your design table say we want this one to be blue the RGB would be 0, 0 and let's say 255 so all blue no red no green so just keep that in mind so now once again let's link the display state to configurations there you go it's already linked click check and now we'll create this design table click insert tables design table and you have to have Microsoft Excel for this we do not want the models to update the design table because we already have the design table in mind so let's create design table okay and it pops up in SolidWorks but we don't want that we want to be able to edit this in Excel so let's edit the table in a new window there we go and the design table like so is shown and here is the information we already have about these we have the different RGBs as we figured out using the different integers and then we also have the different lengths of the pieces now let's zoom in a little bit here let's add this table and now we have to add what these exactly are so we will not be using the actual RGBs we'll be creating these as notes and then creating a formula to get a different code for that SOLIDWORKS will be able to recognize if you already have the RGB code you don't have to do this extra step but we figured out the color with the RGBs so this is how we'll do it so I already have this code written out it can be easily accessible through SOLIDWORKS notes and help menus but it's not that difficult it's a max and min formula to create the code multiply by everything by 16 there we go there it is right there and now we'll take that and drag that across all of the other RGBs to create a different code for each color now this is the length that we named earlier and it's at sketch one so there we go I personally can type in all of these different commands because I know them all but you can also have ways to import them through the SOLIDWORKS program so for the extrudes for the cut extrude and for the different circular pattern in the fillet of the little divots this is not in every single piece it's in all the pieces except for green because green is too small to have this so we will create state at cut extrude state at circular pattern and a state at the fillet and this will allow us to suppress and unsuppress these features as we did in the previous video portion but 
without clicking the button, we can just add a U for unsuppress and an S for suppress. So now that these are all typed out, we can create our unsuppressed for everything except for green. So U, 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 U. For green, we want to put an S. And this is the same across all of the different states. There we go. Our design table is now created. Colors, length, and the different suppressions of the states will be varied. So now we click yes, and green, yellow, blue, white, and green are all created, as we can see here. Let's rebuild this document, and then we can be able to look at the different configurations all over here. As we can see, there's a green, white, blue, red, and gray. And that is how you use a design table to create multiple different configurations quickly and easily. That was Fisher Unitech. Thank you.